girl Jelly G and I'm back with another video. Today's video is gonna be do's and don'ts for as a college freshman. I'm not gonna give you the basics like don't procrastinate, do your work, all that. No, I'm gonna give you the real life, what really goes on in college, what you really need to know, who you need to be. Well, not who you need to be, be who you want to be. And the things that most people don't tell you about college, I'm trying to get all that out in this video. And if I don't, I will make a part two. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, so I was going to do the do's first and the don'ts last, but I'm just going to mix them all together because I don't know. And basically, I'm just ranting because right now I'm a college sophomore and I'm kind of like going through the motions with college, like the ups and downs so that's really why i decided to make this video while i'm thinking about all the things that i should do or the advice i want to get to somebody about college or whatever so i hope you enjoyed this video and let's get to it okay so the first one i have is to be open-minded don't go in college with a closed mind like oh i'm here for this i'm there for this this is the time in your life where you get to know yourself the most. Like it's so much stuff that I, stuff that I have learned about myself that I have so many fears I have overcame. Like I have turned to a whole nother person. Like I cut my hair, and I did something I thought I'd never do. I promise. Like I thought I would never be able to live without my hair. Like I love weed, love weed, but you no, know, like me cutting my hair is a part of who I am. Like. It helps me know myself. When I learned this through college, I came in open my way. At first, I was closed minded. I stayed with the same people always, you know, just with them all the time. That's not the life you want to live in college. College is more than it. It's more people out there, great people out there in college and around in college. Like, you just have to be open minded. Don't be closed minded at all about nothing. Understand people. Be transparent, you know, about situations. Not saying you have to agree with everything. Be transparent. Listen to new people. Get out, meet new people. Like, this what college is. And these are going to be the best years of your life. And really the last young years of your life. Because after college, I mean, you go to grad school, but that's when life is life, for real. But life really hits you in college, for real. It really do. It's going to hit you, especially if you're spoiled like me. It's time to be responsible. It's time to do it all for you. This is for you. This is your time. And you be selfish. I mean... This is you. This is for you. You don't have to think about it. Like this is for you. So, that's the first one. The second one is let your life, your old life go. Like, anything, leave all that at the door. Like, in my school, we got to check it at the gate policy. Where my president, he tell us, like, everything, you know, that you was going on in your past, let all this go. This is a new life. It's new opportunities. New people. Just new. Just a chance for you to start over. Start over and whoever you want to be, whatever you want to do. Don't let nobody tell you you can't, you can't, or you don't. Don't let nobody do that for you. Like, just let that, let all that baggage, everything. I don't care if you came from the most toxic family. God has brought you here, and this is where you need to be. Because if you weren't where you needed to be, he would have never brought you here this far. And if you ever think that God has stopped and he let you go right here, it's not. It's not over. You just have to push through whatever. Push through it. Go through it get through it, you will and when you get through it, it's gonna feel much better that that feeling of getting through will be feel much better than that feeling of oh i can't do this oh this got me anything it's gonna feel better than all this so let all that go be you start over whatever you gotta do to live your best life you do that so and that was number two Number three, enjoy your time something i wish i would do my freshman time my freshman year Enjoy parties. I don't care. People gonna tell you, I ain't come to college to party. He ain't come to college to do this. He ain't come. Girl, get out. Enjoy yourself. Do it. Because I wish I would have did it. My freshman Because freshman year is way more. It's way more easier than sophomore year. Sophomore year is when you get in your um, major. You get in your major. And all that. So you really won't have time, I guess. And I guess when you try to do other stuff involved in school, you try to you get more serious with life, I believe. And what well, I did, I wish I would have did everything in college. Like when you, but when you go go to parties and all that, be responsible. I'm not telling you not to do this, not to do this. Cause I mean, college come with this with an experience. It's an experience. I don't care what nobody tell you. Don't go to parties, girl. What? We young. 
Live your life. Do what you gotta do, sis. Live, go to that party, baby. Then you gotta go every week or whatever. Like me personally, I wanna go to a party during the weekday because I just wouldn't. But you can. I mean, if you you know you gonna get back up for that party. I mean, for that your class the next day, you can do that. But I know I'm not the type of person to do that. And remember, class is before anything because that's what you came for. But you still have time to live your life. Go to parties. Go to get in um, organizations, clubs. Do all that. Everything. Live your best life. Like that's all I'm saying. That was the third one. So the fourth one. Don't try to be someone you're not. It's easy. To spot someone who's trying to be somewhere they're not. Like, okay, you know what I said. Go, you know, live a new life. Be you, you know, whatever. That's true and all. But don't go try to be a gangster when you want a gangster at home. It don't look too good. Anything negative is what I'm saying. Don't go try to be something you're not. Like a lot of people come to college to do all this stuff that they weren't able to do at home. Which probably was the best thing for them. Because when you come to college, I mean, you just trying to fit in. You're not trying to... Fit in. Why would you fit in when you're born to stand out? That's it's dumb. Don't fit in. People going to flock to you. Anybody that's for you going to flock to you. So you don't have to change for nobody. Period. If it, I mean, change is good. Change is always good. But as long as it's change for you and not for someone else. Not to feel comfortable for somebody else. You feel comfortable for yourself. You do things for yourself. So that's all I'm saying. Like, do not try to be so. Because I hate people that come and try to be someone you're not. Like, it's okay. If you're calm, mellow, be that. If you're not a guest, be that. You bash your book, be that. Like, anybody that's supposed to be your friend, they're going to be your friend, whether you a nerd or a gangster, whichever one you is. And I, I heard the gangsters don't even come to college. I don't know how true it is, but I'm just think y'all know, like, boys, that's not cool. Like, I hate this. Don't try to be no gangster in college, please. No. No one. No. Like, ugh. But anyways, okay, so then... That was that. The fifth one. Don't get defeated. Not get defeated. I mean, you will. It's an emotion with him. You will. But don't let that defeat, the defeated feeling be you. Take over you. Take over who you are. Don't let it defeat you. You know, you overcome it. Whatever it is, I'm telling you, you'll have, you have worse days than it. You have, and then think about it, somebody out there that can't even afford to come to college. I mean, yeah, you're going to go through hard times. I'm telling you, after you get over that rough time and you get back in that good, happy spirit, that's what matters. You that feeling when you walk across that stage, that's what matters. Like, when you did that, like, I'm a first gen, and I know when I walk across the stage, there ain't nothing nobody in this world can tell me. I promise I'm gonna feel like the man on the moon. The man that first went to go put the little flag up on the moon. Whatever he went to go do. That's what I'm gonna feel like. Because I did that. I did that for me. And that, that's what's gonna make me feel good. So don't let don't let this stuff defeat you. It's all it's it's okay. It's okay. That's all. If you ain't had nobody to tell you, I'm proud of you if you're in college. In school, anything, period, trying to get your education, grade school, I don't care who watching, whoever, whatever you're doing, I'm proud of you. Like, I know how hard it is in college. It's hard, and I'm only a sophomore. So, I can only imagine what seniors and juniors going through because, but I know when I get across this stage, get what, eh? Get what? Get what? Eh? <laughs> you hear me? I'm going to walk so proud across this stage. Ain't nobody gonna feel like the only girl in the world, I promise. And that's what keeps me going every day. You find that one thing that keeps you going, that keeps you motivated, that keeps you, you know, on track. And I always think about it. Every time the devil comes tell you, oh, girl, you can't do that. Girl, boy, you can't. Boy, you just gonna, no. Get what? I'm gonna walk across the stage. Get what I'm gonna get the degree. Get what my family gonna be out there cheering for me. Yeah. And this gonna be under my belt forever. So that's that. So yeah, do not get defeated. Well, you will get defeated, but overcome that. You can overcome it. It's not the end of the world. I promise you. Okay, number six. Don't let depression get to you. College depression is, is real. It's very real. People don't talk about that. People always talk about the goods of college and all that. But man, like, depression in college is real. 
And especially if you ain't got nobody to talk to, like family-wise, you ain't have really nobody at home to talk to somebody. Did you feel like maybe nobody understands you, but it's somebody out there that understands you. Talk to people. Don't let that depression, don't let the depression get to you. Don't let it, because there's better days. Better days to come. For what they say, for every, for every storm, there's sunshine, something like that. You know, you get my drift, you feel where I'm trying to go with it. But yeah, it's always, it's always the rainbow after the rain. I think that's what I'm trying to say. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Rainbow after the rain, we're going to stick with that. But yeah, depression ain't, it don't define you, girl, boy, man, young woman. It don't define you. Don't let that, mm -mm. So you feel depressed, get up. Go do something. Get out. Breathe. Smell the air. Remember why you was here. Remember what started you. Remember how you prayed so much to get to this point and now you're here. Don't let the depression get to you. Please don't. Please don't. Miss. This week. Ooh. If y'all hear something in the background, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's so irritating, but I'm so sorry. Well, um... Number seven, like I said, remember it's always someone to talk to. When you always feel like you you alone, you just oh my god, it's about so many times. And I got a supportive family. My family, I could call my family, my mom, my dad, my brothers, whoever I want to call each time, but I just don't because I'm the, I'm the type of person that like I don't want to you know put my problems on them, which they would definitely disagree with, but. It's always somebody to talk to. Even if you feel like you can't talk to your family or you feel like me, you don't want to put that on them. It's somebody there you can talk to. Always in college. Always somebody. It might not be a counselor. I don't. I wouldn't go to a counselor for nothing in the world. I won't. Because I just feel like a counselor, this is what you paid to do, so you're going to listen to me. I need somebody that's genuine. And it might be like me. I would say my housing director. As weird as it sounds. She is the person I go to go to all the time i don't care what it is she gonna make me feel better and it's somebody else i'm missing out i'm so sorry besides my friend but somebody that i could talk to and just be like when i need just let my hair down she gonna listen and they ain't even her job they ain't even her job she gonna listen to me and that's all i need it's her to listen to me and then sometimes like like how i my best friend shout out to my best friend Kylie. i love you boy that's my nigga. <laughs> Wait, this is how I miss my best friend. Like, me and him had talked. I had never talked to this man before. But when we worked together in the summertime, I would have never thought he was, like, a person I could come talk to about, like, anything. Like, and it ain't even about me always, like, just talking. Sometimes he just there, like, just that feeling that you need. Like, just there. Like, you ain't even got to talk about that. He just, like, when he says something wrong, he there. He gonna make sure I'm, I'm good. And that's how we became best friends, which I would never thought we would become best friends, but we are. So, yeah, it's always somebody to talk to. It probably might be the person you least expect, but it's always somebody to talk to. Don't let the depression get to you. Don't let it overwhelm you. Nothing. Like, you can get through it. You can get through it. Just take a deep breath. Remember why you came. Remember the time you prayed to be here. Remember. The people that can't be here, or like if you're a first gen like me, you the first one. <laughs> you did that. You heard. Depression just a feeling, and the, but don't let that feeling over, overtake you. Pray, pray. Do not get, do not get out of the sight of God. Like out of the habit of praying. Like how you pray to be there. Do not get out of it. Because you're going to always need God. I ain't saying you got to go to chapel all the time, church all the time. You don't have to if that's not what you do, because I don't. But I do have a relationship with God. And I do pray. I do pray a lot. So, keep praying, keep pressing, keep moving. And, yeah, that's it. <sighs> Number eight, don't be afraid of change. And what I mean by that is, you be like, okay, like when I first came to college, I was stuck on them mentality. I ain't used to do this. We'll do this at home. That ain't what I used to, like, scared of different things to move out of it. Basically, just scared to do so. And so, 
Don't be afraid of change. Change your friends. Change your life. Change everything. Change, period. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Just get out there and do it. I mean, just, I don't know. But change is what got me where I'm at. I changed a lot. But change for the better. And it was for me and not for nobody else. It was for me. And that's what it is. Yes. This what it is, I guess. Okay, nine, get out. Get out. Okay. Sorry, man. Okay. Get out! Yo! 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 Chill, man. Get out! Chill! Get out! Chill! Chill, man! Chill! Chill! Get out. Don't be in isolation. Get out. Get out your room. Get out your feelings. Get out. Do something. Go do some, you know, some, um, some unusual things for yourself. Um, like, something you don't usually do. Get out. This is the time to live. Get out. Get out. Do not sit in your room all day. Do not. Please don't do that to yourself. Ever. It's so much, so many nice people. So many people want to help you. So it's just cool people. Especially if you go to HBCU. I love my HBCU. I love it. And I love the people there. So, yeah, get out. Uh, number 10, do what's right for you. Some people, like, they come and they be still living life for their mama, day daddy, and all that. If you want to make a decision and you feel in your heart that this is what you want to do, but I don't think it's holding you back is what somebody may think of you, what they might think of this, or that, no. Whatever you feel right, because at the end of the day, this is your life. They're going to do what they want to do. Best believe it. Best believe they're going to do what they want to do. At the end of the day, they're going to do what they want to do. They ain't worried about your choices, what you want to do, your opinion about what they So don't, don't even. Do what's best for you. And that's that. But, yeah, I hope these were helpful uh, tips for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I plan to do another one because I got more stuff I want to say. This is kind of like a venting thing for me because all the stuff that I'm saying, I'm just not learning for myself. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe and subscribe. See you later.